Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to write an aggregate function for a min ifs with multiple criteria. So this is a bonus video based on some of the solutions in this video series for our formula challenge. And again, that challenge was to write a formula that will return the name of the salesperson that made the first sale in each month based on this table of sales data using this date column. So back in video number three, we looked at the aggregate function, and I mentioned I'd also share a video where we can use aggregate with multiple criteria. So we're going to look at that in this example here. First, we'll look at a simple example using multiple criteria, and then we'll see how we could apply that to our formula challenge and return multiple criteria where we have an additional criteria for a region. So as I mentioned in that prior video, we can use the aggregate function with multiple criteria. And I set up a little simple example here where we wanna find the minimum quantity of green shirts sold in January. So over here in our table, we have a month column with the month name, and then a color column with the color, and then of course our quantity. And we really wanna write a formula to return this result right here because this is the smallest number uh, in with the green color in January here. So we're going to write an aggregate function for this, and we'll just write it from scratch. I'll type equals and then aggregate. We can just tab into that. The function number, again, is going to be the small function, which is number 15 here. You can either select it and hit tab or just type the number 15. Then for the options argument, we're going to want to ignore error values. So we'll choose six there, or type of six. And then for our array, this is the bulk of the calculation here. We're first going to select the quantity column here, just reference the quantity column. You'll notice I do have the table, I'm sorry, the table formulas or structured references turned on. You can turn that off. You don't have to use structured reference formulas. So there's our table, uh, or I'm sorry, our quantity. We're going to divide that. Again, we're going to open the parentheses and the first uh, criteria here that we want to evaluate is going to be for the month. So we'll select the month here, cell G5 and set that equals to, and then we'll reference the entire month column here that contains all the months. So that's going to do a logical statement there to check if G5 equals each of those cells in the month column. So we'll close the parentheses there. And now we also wanna add an additional criteria here. So we're going to uh, put an asterisk here to do a multiplication open the parentheses again, and now we'll choose green right here because this is our other criteria, F5, and we'll say equal, so I now have an equal sign, and now we'll choose the color column right here and uh, close the parentheses on that as well. So this is going to evaluate both of these statements here, is the month equals G5, and the uh, color equals F5, which is green. If both of those happen, then it'll return a true. Otherwise, it'll return a false, and we'll get that divide by zero error. Now, I also need to wrap my entire statement here in parentheses, or all of the criteria. So I'll do that there. I'll close the parentheses out here. And really, that's the entire statement there. If you had multiple criteria, additional criteria as well, you could add those within those uh, parentheses. You just need to wrap the entire thing in parentheses on the denominator there. And then of course, uh, we're dividing the quantity by that, and that's going to return a one or a zero. So then the, the last argument after that is again that uh, place with the K, uh, or sometimes it's referred to as N for first, second, or third, something like that. We're gonna choose a one because we want the smallest value. And then we'll close the parentheses, and that's our function there, and we'll hit enter, and we can see we get 630 returned right there. So that's using aggregate to find the minimum value based on multiple criteria. I also added another sheet here where uh, we, I added a region column over to our sales table here, and then I did a report for our challenge to find the first person that made a sale for each region, uh, first person that made a sale in the month for each region. So again, this is, uses the same logic there with the aggregate function and multiple criteria. We can see it here if we step into the formula. Here's our multiple criteria right here. So we're comparing the month uh, name, 
I'm sorry, the month number in this case to the month of the day column. And then we're also doing a region comparison here. So the region here would be in the header, uh, a comparing, or comparing the region column to the region here in the header. And that will do multiple criteria and return the first person that made a sale for each month in each region. So if your uh, challenge or your competition got a little more complex, uh, you can expand that out to multiple criteria. So a lot of flexibility there again with that aggregate function. So I hope that helps. I just again want to say a big thank you to everyone that participated in this challenge. There's a ton of solutions posted over on the blog. I'll put the link to that below this video so you can go check them out. There's additional solutions there that I just didn't get to in this series, but I did try and cover the most popular techniques. And thanks again. If you have any questions, of course, you can just leave a comment right below this video. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you are watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.